these are the instructions on how to get rid of a how to get a, a tape out of a U-Matic, a Sony U-Matic player. There's about, um, I don't know how many different models of this U-Matic player, but which we own here in the studio. Um, but almost all of them have this exact same gears, nylon gears, and, um, and path for the tape. So this is universal for all of them, because I've gotten many of these stuck, and I finally figured out how to get the tape out. Now, sometimes the tape, for whatever reason, gets loosened up, or if you have a tape that's that needs to be baked and you didn't bake it properly and it's too sticky and it slows the head down and then it stops, the the player will not um, turn on. Uh, I mean, it'll turn on, but it won't um, it won't eject the tape. Now this tape is it's fine and it's ejecting the tape without too much problem right now. But I just released it. So the the way that you release this tape, if it's stuck here, now this one, like I said, isn't stuck. Let me just engage it so you can see where the um, and then I'll just stop it so you can see where the uh, pieces are. Now, this is working normal, so the head is spinning, but um, when it's not, the head is not spinning, um, it's, it's stuck. What you do is you take your finger and you put it down here, and there's a nylon gear right here that controls this, whatever this arm is called here. And then there's a little wheel with a, um, uh, uh, a, a rubber pulley on it. And if you take the pulley, and just push it forward like this, you will see this little cap stand right here move just slightly. All you have to do is roll it forward a couple of times, three or four times. And once it starts to move, if you turn the machine back on, it'll automatically eject. Whether it's stuck or not, that forces it. It's you roll it forward a couple of times and then you roll it backwards this way about 10 times. You'll see the cap stand move about that much. Turn, do this while it's turned off. Turn it back on and the, um, the, uh, the tape will come out. Now you can hit the eject button. And, and in the case where it's stuck, it usually goes right to the, um, it goes all the way to the eject. Okay, so the other thing also is if the tape gets stuck in here um, and, and it won't, move forward and you need to get the tape out, one of the things you can do, which I don't recommend, it's the last resort, is you can actually cut the tape right here and then you have to manually pull the tape out if the machine won't inject it. You cut the tape right here so that you can splice it back together easily. With a piece of tape you can splice it back together and you won't have much problems other than the half second of um, video that's going to be gone. So what you do is you take one hand on this side and you put it inside the, inside the, um, uh, inside the entrance and then one side, one hand on this side, and if you just get a good grip on it and slowly lift it up, it, the, the gears will give in and it will lift up and then this will close and you can push it out. And if you just cut the tape, just pull it out carefully with the door open and the tape will slip out and you'll have a tape that's cut and you can splice it back together and then you, you got it out. And then if, the, if this hasn't released, then do the same thing. It's a little easier to get to now. Roll it forward a couple of times, roll it backwards a couple of times, turn it back on, and the um, and, and the tape will then release. The cap stands will swing back around, and the tape will release, and then hit eject, and it'll come back out again. So that's how one way that I figured out how to get tapes out of a U-Matic where it gets stuck. And like I said, it gets stuck sometimes because the tapes, these especially these older three-quarter inch you know mini tapes, um, they get the the tape gets sticky, and um, the, the way to get, the round, get around that is to bake the tape. We've got a little device here on top of a heater where you heat it to 130 degrees, let it cool slightly, and then put it back in and it'll play. You'll know that the tape needs to be baked when you put it in and it squeaks or it stops the head or you get this awful screeching sound. It's the tape, not your player. So bake the tape. Like I said, uh, there's a couple of ways we did it. One of the ways was we stuck it on top of these... Um, uh, these um, cloud drives that we have that are just you know portable hard drives and they're just warm enough but you got to let them sit for several hours or you could take like a space heater and I put a piece of metal on top and put it on very low on top of the metal and about 15 minutes later the tapes heated up and let it cool down slightly and put it back in and the screeching will go away all the all the um, stickiness dries up it's called baking the tape but uh, this sticking comes from I've seen almost 99% of the time from a, a tape that needs to be baked it gets caught up, it gets stuck, and then it won't eject, and that's how you do it. So, that's it. Good luck.